the most hated demographic in Australia right now, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, is straight, white, males, plus being Christian. Am I wrong? I refuse to do a welcome to country at my Christian conferences. Now I'm being taken to the Human Rights Commission. Well, I mean, it serves you right. Don't you know that this is such an important part of our history? Totally not made up in the 1970s by a uh, TV presenter and a musician. Silly boy. A conservative Christian minister claims he is being persecuted for refusing to include a welcome to country ceremony at the start of his religious conferences and that he is prepared to go to jail to defend his rights. Well, mate, I do hope you are prepared. See, this is what I've been trying to warn everyone about, especially in the last couple of videos and pretty much throughout my entire journey here on this channel, that we here in Australia are rapidly accelerating to total authoritarian takeover. I've been warning about hate speech laws here in this country and everyone keeps saying the same thing to me. They're talking about when you're uh, calling for acts of violence or maybe people are planning terroristic plots. I said, no, no. You would say things like, I don't think we should be sterilizing children or I don't think I need to have a welcome to country at my Christian conference, bam, straight to jail for you. This is what I've been trying to warn people about. David Powell said he had been hauled before the Queensland Human Rights Commission after a complaint, singular, was made that he failed to include the Indigenous ritual or smoking ceremony in his national church and state conferences. Queensland Human Rights Commission. Oh, you getting a sense of deja vu here. I wonder why that is. I'll let you know in a sec. The outspoken right-wing preacher claimed that he chose to leave the ceremony out because you can't mix Christianity and uh, you can't mix Christianity, a true religion, with something that is made up. Well, look, my dude, people will argue about that, which is fine. He said the man who raised the claim against him had paid for a ticket to one of his conferences and attended the event only to complain that I had racially vilified and humiliated him on the grounds of his race and religion. So my first initial question would be, did the preacher single out this attendee within this conference personally to the entire audience and say, boo this man because he is X and Y? Yeah, X to doubt. Uh, I don't know if he's some other religion or why he came to a Christian event to hear from a Christian teacher or a Christian doctrine, he told news network ADH-TV. Look, people are allowed to come and listen to uh, opposing points of view, I guess I'll put it that way. Uh, my guess is the complaint maker uh, is just looking for a quick buck because he's working the system. At the moment, the system really does not like Christians, really does not like white Christians, and especially when they are, hang on, where was it? <laughs> I should have prepared a little bit better. Be prepared. White wing preacher. The most evil of all. The ubiquitousness of these welcome to country rituals being opposed upon Australians of all beliefs or non-belief at sporting events, when you land on a plane, when you walk into a government building, when you visit a website, when you start a Zoom meeting. Yeah, and you know who's responsible for that? HR Karens, it's all them. It's all them because they've been indoctrinated at the universities and then they've come in to the workplace, you notice how this is just rapidly ramped up over the past couple of years. We didn't rarely see this uh, for the last prior decade. It's only just ramped up yet because it's all been astroturfed in through these HR Karens. And what they do is they go to their bosses and they say, you have to do this in order to tick off your DEI score. Because if you don't tick off your DEI score, then um, you might get complaints and you might get sued. It's funny, I asked Grok to uh, create an image of what Michael Malice would call the awfuls, because that's who is imposing this rubbish upon us, the awfuls, the affluent white female 
Labor supporters. Yeah, we've all got one at our workplace, don't we? Huh? These are religious rituals which Christians in particular should not should have no part of. And under a democratic, allegedly secular and pluralistic society, it should also be something that the taxpayer doesn't fund and the government doesn't impose. I would happen to agree with that. Uh, look, the problem is it's now everywhere and everyone is sick of it. If they kept it to very, very important occasions, you know, maybe people would just tolerate it. But as this person is pointing out, it's happening at the start of Zoom meetings. I know because I've been part of those Zoom meetings when they started. <laughs> and you sit there and think, you're on a Zoom call and you're doing a welcome to country. What the hell is going on? And like I alluded to at the beginning, that it's just one big money-making scam now. So is the smoking ceremony. And it's funny, these, these indigenous groups fight each other over who can do it because they know it's a cash cow. It's total bollocks. Now, speaking of uh, the Queensland Human Rights Commission, I, I thought to myself, hang on, I, why is that giving me a sense of deja vu? And then I remembered, yeah, the comedian lash for intentionally offensive routine of Aboriginal people. Yeah, An Australian comedian, Isaac Butterfield, uh, also had a complaint made against him. And he was, hauled before, he was hauled before the Queensland Human Rights Commission, which I did speak about uh, almost a year ago now. But the good news is he won. So there is hope. But for this gentleman, I don't really have that much hope for him. And the only reason I say that is because he is white, and he is Christian. And the most hated demographic in Australia right now, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, is straight, white, males, plus being Christian. Am I wrong? All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the channel and this video. So follow me up there and do all the things down there. Are we done? Yeah, we're done.